Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you something really exciting. Uh, not too exciting, but what I'm going to be showing you is how to get the no bra, aka the purple nipples, <laughs> aka the boobs on the female character, using components and a component transfer glitch. So, this was found a while ago by me and by T. We were working on it, um, found the boobs, and then... It just wouldn't work for us we couldn't figure out how to get it to work again i've worked on it many times gotten frustrated and stopped doing it t picked it back up decided to try it again and found a solution i worked on a little bit more and then kind of found how to unmerge that solution so what i'm just going to be doing here is showing you an outfit i'm going to put together i'll try to give you some tips and tricks as many as i can to make this make sense for you, but you will have the boobs on the female character. Unfortunately, they won't be just the boobs and completely shirtless. You'll still have a glitch shirt over that. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like, of course, at the end. And then I'm also gonna show you the components for the outfit I'm creating. So as usual, I'm not gonna go and walk through each individual item. I'm just gonna show you the full outfits here. Um, show you what I do on mail to get these components together and then we'll do whatever component transfer glitch is available which will be linked in the description as well as all the components that you'll see in order for the outfits and then you'll be able to transfer these over to your female character merge them and then I'll show you the trick to glitch off the other item so our outfit is going to be orange adversary race suit shoes we're gonna have black joggers we're gonna have the black shirt that comes with the boobs or the nipples showing through. Then we're gonna have a black race suit belt, a black scarf, an orange adversary, low beanie, and all of these items are gonna create the outfit as well as black gloves that we're putting together. What I'm also gonna show you is with with this complicated merge we're going to be doing is how to unglitch the race suit belt from that outfit so then you'll just be left with the the top that has the boobs that show through and then whatever other components you put together with the outfit just keep in mind as well that you cannot change the gloves on this outfit you do need to choose gloves when you're on your male character uh, merge gloves however you're doing it you do need to choose the gloves when you're on the male character and then once you get over to your female character you're stuck with those gloves that you were wearing otherwise it's going to change and glitch away the important part of the outfit which is going to be the boobs so the first thing you're going to need to do is set up these clothes um, i'll again leave the components in the description we're going to be have we're going to have three outfit slots here and then you need to make sure that you do have one of the bodysuits purchased at the clothing store. Any of them, we have free Christmas ones currently, but when that's over, you can purchase one of the other bodysuits. You need to make sure you have the black tailcoat purchased for this outfit. And then of course, you can make sure, obviously, when you have all the other components put together, that you have them saved. So the first outfit slot is going to be the one that we're creating right here with the telescope glitch. So I save the race suit, or sorry, the biker suit in the first slot. We're gonna be using the blue biker suit. You're going to then put on the bodysuit and we're gonna do the telescope glitch to get just the shoes or the pants um, and all this by itself. So you run at the telescope, hold right on your D-pad until you stop and not look through it. Then you select that saved biker suit. You'll see the mask from the bodysuit glitch is on and then head to your closet and you want to save this over slot number one again. And then you wanna to go to the top section and put on the black tailcoat. When you put on the black tailcoat, you'll get the boots glitched together with these jeans, which are stuck. That way you cannot change the pants on this. And then you need to put on a white tank top. And again, you're going to save this under slot number one. And we're going to add some more items on this when we're back on the female to merge together with the next outfit. So this is in slot number one. And you must merge these items in this order. So even if you're doing it backwards, you'll need to have this in like slot number three, the other one in slot number two, the other one in slot number one. But it has to go in this order. If you're mer merging forward, as I'm doing, you need to have these outfits. So slot number two is going to have all merge components on it with the component that does equal the shirt. And then slot three is going to have the race suit belt component. We're going to keep our hat um, component on here and then basically our pant component as well for the joggers. You do also need to make sure that with this quad lens that your visor is up. You need to make sure it's set that way. So once you do the component transfer glitch to get these over to your female character, go ahead and make sure you have the outfit you're wearing as your current outfit saved if you're wanting to save that before we swap over. 
we're going to select now that outfit in slot number one. As long as you didn't have anything blacklisted or invisible, you should be able to open it up there. And then you can go now and you're going to basically set up the items that you're going to be merging on to the outfits. So we had a merge component for gloves. You need to choose gloves here, a merge component for shoes, and also a merge component component for the neckwear. Now the neckwear is totally optional. You do not have to do this, but if you wanted to wear a scarf or handcuffs or whatever else you're merging together with this outfit, you need to make sure you definitely had have a neckwear item on at this stage. So I just went ahead and chose the black um, desert scarf to merge together with this outfit. It did look the best in my opinion. And then you need to change the top. You must change the top to a black bikini top. This is what helps to create this merge. It's a very complicated and confusing kind of outfit merge together here, which is why it took me so many tries to get it right. Why T finally figured out it's just, it's a pain in the butt. So you just need to make sure you have at least a black bikini top on when you're doing this merge. The rest of the items are obviously optional if you wanted to wear them with this outfit. Now we're gonna set up the outfits and do the merge and I'll show you what it looks like. So start up a Rockstar Created Job Crooked Cop, set that to player owned clothing, hit confirm settings, and then just go ahead and invite anywhere from one, two, three, four, five people to join with you. Once you do have at least one person joining the job with you, go ahead and start that up and I'm gonna show you how to merge that. So you're gonna scroll from your current outfit to outfit in slot one, outfit in slot two, and then outfit in slot number three. You're scrolling to the right. You'll see here you have the boobs or the nipples on your female character. You're gonna go ahead and hit ready to play, load into the job, and then because you're wearing the hat on this, or if you're choosing the hat option when you're doing this, instead of going right once to select a rebreather, go ahead and hit left once to select an earpiece. Both of those can be purchased at ammunition before you go into Crooked Cop, so also keep that in mind. But as I said, when we load into the job, you are gonna see the full completed outfit. So we do have the orange low beanie on, we have a scarf, we have the shirt that has the nipples that show through, we have black joggers, and then I'm wearing those orange adversary mode um, biker, or sorry, race suit shoes. Now, just as a heads up, if you are doing these race suit shoes, you must, for the most part, um, glitch away the actual pants, tops, all that stuff when you're doing this if you wanted those items. Sometimes they won't transfer because of invisible or blacklisted parts. But once you do have the earpiece on by going left, go ahead and quit the job through your phone. You'll load back into an online session and you can save this outfit. Now I'm going to show you how to glitch away the race suit belt. So I know some of you probably don't like the race suit belt. I honestly don't like it. So I try to figure this out all day, how to get this off of this outfit, but it's very simple. It's a glitch most of you are familiar with, but there is a trick to doing it. So you need to make sure you have one of the heist coveralls purchased. Um, I suggest doing the one with the black gloves because sometimes it can change the gloves on you. And then you're going to run at the telescope, hold right on your D-pad until you stop and not look through. Open up the interaction menu, go to style, and select that outfit that you just had saved with the low beanie and, you know, the race suit belt and all that. So if you do have a low beanie on, just keep in mind that you're going to have to save this outfit at the, uh, at the clothing store or at ammunition. When you try to save a uh, hat and mask glitches together at your closet, it'll glitch it away. You'll have to redo it. So I'm just going to head over to ammunition and set my location as last location so I can load here again in a Titan of a job and then just save this outfit. So what you do need to do at this stage is close your application. When you load back into a GTA Online session, go ahead and put on that saved outfit that you had with the beanie or with, you know, the mask glitched onto this outfit. And now we're going to start up a Rockstar Created Mission uh, called Titan of a Job. It's very important that you closed the application after glitching together and saving the outfit. So when you do load back in, you are now going to open up uh, the Titan of a job by yourself. You do not need anybody to join with you. Hit confirm settings. And when you spawn into the job, you will have that outfit with the race suit belt glitched off. And you'll be able to go inside of ammunition if you were there before. Um, usually it's the best spot to go. Easy to walk in, save the outfit. So after you save the outfit, you'll be able to exit the job again through your phone. And you should have the outfit on when you load back into GTA Online. If you do not have the outfit on when you load back into GTA Online, just select that saved outfit again through your interaction menu or through the closet or outfit section in any clothing store. 
And that's pretty much it. You've got the full outfit here together now. I'm just gonna give you a couple of tips and tricks if you're curious and would like to know. I'm just gonna show you that you can remove the scarf, but if you try to change the scarf to something else, it will not let you, it's not compatible. You cannot change or remove the gloves. If you do that, it's gonna glitch away the boob. So that's why you need to be very considerate and you need to be aware of that before when you're putting together the components. You can add things like cuffs or um, watches, you know, things like that. Some of the cuffs and some of the, um, the items will glitch away the scarf, so keep that in mind. But if you're just adding a watch, um, uh, it'll be fine. If you're adding bangles, it's going to glitch away the scarf, things like that. You can also change the pants and the shoes on this outfit. If you're wanting just to do something different, maybe you don't want to use components uh, as the items, or maybe there aren't components. Of course, you can put together as many different styles of outfits with these tops as you like. You can, of course, glitch together and put on hats and masks and things like that. But the important thing to note is the scarves um, or the gloves. It's important to set up those merges before you're doing the actual outfit when you're doing the components back on mail. But thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel. I want to give a huge shout out to T for going and tackling this one more time and figuring it out. It's been a big old pain in the butt. Like I said, it's taken us a lot of time to get it to work again and try to figure things out. I've spent all day, honestly, um, trying to make the outfit the way that I want it without the race suit belt because that's not really my favorite accessory all the time. But I hope you guys did like this video. Please make sure you show her some love. Make sure you drop a like. Please subscribe. Leave me lots of comments and I will see you soon with more glitch videos.